What is cranking, wieners? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you guys here. Today's mission is gonna be a whole lot of fun. I haven't done this in about a year. As you know, we just rigged up the brand new yak. I say brand new because a few months old, but we just never really fished off it too much. We're not gonna be using a ton of the accessories that we rigged, which is kind of contradictory, but uh, we are gonna be using the yak today and floating quite possibly one of my favorite big bass rivers. This is the home one of my first and biggest Texas bass that I caught when I first moved to Texas. So this is gonna be fun. I'm very stoked. We've got Mr. Cole Burford who is chilling over there. We've got Lucky and then we've also got Alex the editor. I'm pumped for today's mission. Also, I wanna let you guys know that we have chose a winner for the RZR Camp Claw Hangout giveaway. So stay on the lookout for Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll probably announce it right there or I'll announce it in a later video, but we're just kind of waiting for the perfect opportunity to have one of you beautiful folks come hang with us, drink some claws, shoot some guns, flip some Can-Ams and just have a ripping good time. But anyway, let's go crank some fish. So here we go, mile number one. This is about a eight, seven mile float. Water is not turbulent, I'd say. This is like probably one of the easier floats for like a kayaker or a fisherman in general. I'm gonna really focus on the spots that seem and look productive and just kind of blow through the areas that look pretty dusty. I've fished it enough times to know what to stop at and what to pass up. That's just the key with kayak fishing. Otherwise, you're out here like all day, which is luck, this is gonna be fun. Why no bites? We've got overcast, it's fall, they should be looking up. There's plenty of shad in this stretch of the river right now. I'm a little sad, I'm a little sad. It's all right, we've got a lot left to fish. Yo, tie on that big swim bait, and then when we get over there, just start blindly casting. That's where I've, I lost like an eight or nine there, right on that rock, that little island. You literally just cast and reel that thing like a crankbait. Oh yeah, there's one right under me. Oh sh Just had a pr pretty nice little eat from like a one pounder. Followed all the way up to the, the kayak, yeah. Little guy. Oh my God, that is a f bass. That was a bass the whole time. I did not even realize that that was a bass. Holy sh big one. Giant fish, giant bass. Five pounder, like right here. It was on the rocks and like six inches of water. Yeah, I thought it was a rock. I threw right at it and he just f off. There's another one right here, about two pounds. This spot always has got decent fish on it. I'm just using a glide bait. That's just straight retrieve. What do you see? Good ones? How big? Really? Water's getting cleaner too. That might be a fish right there. They, dude, they'll be so f tied to the banks or they'll be like in deep holes. Like that one back there, I thought it was a literal stump, but I just made a cast at it and it spooked them off. Do you have that swim bait on? That little one? Or did you talk? Oh yeah, it's, he's, he's on it, he's on it, he's on, keep going, he's on it. He's literally on it, I'm about to spook him though. It's like a two pounder, it's a nice fish. Keep going, keep going, he doesn't see me, keep going. Kill it, kill it. Go, go. You see him? He's right behind it. Keep going, kill it. You see him now? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not a bad one, a bit nice fish to start off with. Cole and I spooked a fish, it pushed off. Cole threw the poppin' filthy frog at it and he came back and followed it in. It wasn't good that he, he didn't eat, but it's good that he like still was interested in the bait even after we spooked him, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, like, a, it's like half uh, mission success, I, I suppose. Just spook like a four. You're in the weirdest spots today.
Oh, there's a bite. He dropped it. Hell yeah. That's exactly what we're after. Oh, he still has it. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Jesus, that's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Tighten the drag. Tighten the drag. That's a decent one. That's actually a decent fish. I thought it was tiny. Don't get me in the grass. Don't do that. Oh. Right on that lay down. Very sick. No problem. In the boat. <laughs> we'll take that. That's a quality fish. That fish literally came right there. I felt a small tap. I thought it was like a little bluegill. Yeah, that uh, that right there is definitely not a little bluegill. That is a very nice first fish. We floated maybe like what, two miles, a mile into the river without really, really anything promising, like no huge bites. We've been seeing a lot of fish. Maybe the biggest one I've seen today is close to five, but this is a step in the right direction. Nice bass on the five inch lunker log. Oh, that feels good. See it, Bubby. Decent. Five inch lunker log always. I mean always. Put some more. Came right off that uh that limb, that lay down. Let's go get some more. I'm feeling good. That was exactly what I needed. Well you guys have seen me use this a lot. Actually, one of my girthiest bass this year came on this exact rig that I'm gonna show you. He's in a three op Guggen heavy hammer hook. And we're taking a lunker log, five inch, weightless rig lunker logs, just honestly put them away. It seems like in any scenario whether you be fishing like sometimes you know end of docks lay down springtime especially fall i like throwing it too because these fish are keying in on shad you don't throw this you need to you need to get on that train you need to get on that wave it is definitely a solid way to get bet no doubt you want to hold hands together as we go down yeah here come over here oh wait hold on cole 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 it's going too fast cole 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 <laughs> oh geez i should probably sit down though for real like i'm i'm probably gonna eat this is nice it's nice when you don't have to do any work. The water and the current just does it all for you. This looks like a spot where big bass would be too. Look at this, this looks sexy. Any nines over here? Any nines? Any tens? No tens? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh wow, it's a giant. Is that a large one? Yeah, a little larger. Little guy took the lunker log and crushed it. I feel like a big bite at first, and I was like, nah, maybe not, probably not. All right, Bubba, that's number two. We'll take it, few and far between, but at least we're getting some nibs. Get out of here. Get out of here, you wiener. Oh. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. No! What the f Ah, two at the same time. Hitting it, hitting it and not getting hooked. Literally hitting it multiple times and not getting hooked. I need to change the hooks off completely with that bait. Nice. That was insane. I'm literally burning that, <laughs> burning that lunker log in and this guy crushed it. <laughs> I didn't like that cast actually, I was gonna go for another one. I don't know, another lunker log fish, it definitely seems to be the pattern. It's like kind of tough fishing right now, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've been here, but still like regardless, I'm not, I'm not crushing it, none of us are, but we'll take that. I still one pound. See ya. Thanks dude. Didn't even try to catch that fish, don't you love it? It just kind of happens on accident. That's how most of my fish catches happen. They just feel bad for me. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Big shelf, like it drops off. Just doesn't look as deep today. No way. No way, god damn it. I'm just seeing big fish everywhere, like largemouth. Nothing like past six though. Another one. Another big fish. What do you see, Noodle? See any big bass? Bait ball. There's a lot of life going on here. We just need a big one. Little one. Little guy, another lunker log bass. It's nice, it's nice for once to get all the big fish in the river. 
you know, I get kind of sick and tired of catching those giants. Like, really wears out my noodly arms. <laughs> These little ones are a nice change of pace, you know? Don't you love how the little ones stay on? Like, it's quite literally impossible to unhook them, but when you get a big fish hooked, it's like, yep, I'm about to shake the hook. Pretty fish. Just a little gay. See ya. Oh, nice. And I, oh my God. God. That was so sick. That was so sick. Oh, oh. Missed the first one. And this guy came out of nowhere and crushed it. Oh, I just spooked off a giant fish too. I'm a little sad, but I'm also pretty stoked that we got some redemption there. This rocky spot always holds some pretty decent bitey fish. There we go. Nice little, eh, I don't know, almost two pounder. So we watched him come up and crush it like on the surface. Woo, that was fun. Get some blood going for sure. Here's a little river bass. See ya, Bubba. Hell yeah. Good fish, wow, that feels decent. That feels decent. Oh yeah, that's a good one. We'll take that. We will take that. There we go. Decent. Did you catch one? <laughs> it's funny. There we have it. <laughs> nice one's probably one of the biggest, probably one of the biggest ones of the day. Just a humongous head little body super colored out too this is actually one of my favorite spots in this float to fish just because it's rocky and it's like steep and it just always seems to hold bass for example oh my god you're beautiful i mean you're a little goofy you got like a kind of a dory tail going on there but yeah you're, you're beautiful my eyes i love you regardless okay let's send it back my g thank you get out of here get out of here <laughs> that was cool good fish Well, we did it. We conquered the river. We did a total of about, I think eight miles between the three of us. Caught like, I don't know, I caught maybe like four or five bass, one of which being close to like three and a half, four pounds. Just a fun day out on the river. Fishing is still kind of tough. I'm like still getting back into the whole like Texas grind. Still have that Maine mentality, that New England mentality where I'm just so focused on stripers and tuna and smallmouth where it's kind of becoming a little bit foreign to chase after these Texas river bass. So we did have a good time. Huge shout out to Nicole and Lucky and Alex for making this mission happen. I want to go over the, like the three kind of lures that I was throwing the most today. One of which that seemed to work the best is the five inch lunker log and that green pumpkin blue flick. It's just like a straight up killer. It's the one lure that I caught my biggest bass on this season. It just seems to do really good in very kind of pressured clear water shell conditions or scenarios. Then the other lure I was throwing, which didn't catch a fish, but had a lot of runs, was that swim bait, that glide bait. Again, I'm still really trying to grasp the whole big or medium sized swim bait process, but I do feel like I got a little bit of uh, momentum today and we did get some pretty good eats. I had like a couple of times there'd be two fish chasing it down. They just could not get hooked. And then lastly, the lure that caught the biggest fish of the day was three eighths ounce, a little juicy jig with a full size green pumpkin crack and crawl. That was pretty awesome. Little spot we caught two fish there. Just a really rocky area and those fish were keyed in on the bottom. But anyway, I just personally want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one because we have many, many more heaters coming down the pipeline. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the video and as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. Mm -hmm.